getting ready to purchase a new piece of equipment, we, we factor in several circumstances when we buy it. What will the acquisition cost of the equipment be? Uh, aside from the actual purchase price, uh, what will it cost us? Do we have to train someone specifically? Do we need another person to operate that piece of equipment? Do we need special transportation for that equipment? Uh, the, the 104 was actually a perfect example. While it, cuts 104, while it cuts at 104 inches, the transportation size of it is 80 inches. So when the wings go up, you can actually put it on a standard trailer. Uh, and again, that piece of equipment also, we had people who already knew how to mow, and we were able to utilize those same employees on that mower. We also have to evaluate what's the cost savings for us uh, against the purchase price. Uh, the, the 104 inch mower is basically saves us six to eight man hours on every property that it's on. So by eliminating eight man hours utilizing one person, it obviously saves us time and money. The, the 104 inch mower is about 45% more efficient than the largest mower we had at the time, which was a 72 inch mower. You know, the, added, the other cost that we also look at is by having one person in a particular area, we save on workers' comp costs, injury costs, and, and the amount of work effort that our employees have to put in on each job. Well, we, we went to the 104-inch mower uh, at the time because the largest zero-turn mower in existence then was a 72-inch zero-turn. The 104 inch is what they call a zero turn mower. Uh, obviously, it allows us to cover more space than a 72 inch, and it's actually about 45% more efficient than the 72 inch mower. Uh, it also allowed us to save approximately six to eight man hours, depending on the property you were mowing and utilizing it on. Uh, along with that, the obvious costs of uh, employee costs, workers' comp, safety issues. We now have one man that can basically do the work for two men in a particular area. And we can still utilize it in residential areas, which is the real benefit of it, as opposed to a bat wing mower, which traditionally you can't put behind houses because it does not give you a finished cut mow. Uh, the 104 inch mower utilizes a mulch kit and we can mulch the grass. So when you get done mowing with a 104 as opposed to a 61 or a 52, it looks almost identical in the cut. Whereas a bat wing won't do that. It's more of a, a large open lot area mow machine. The GPS to us has been uh, beneficial in several ways. Uh, every vehicle we have at the company has GPS on it. It allows us to monitor, monitor where each crew is at any given moment in time, uh, as opposed to having to have a, a manager physically on the property uh, monitoring the efficiency. We can log into the computer, pull it up on the computer, and see where each crew is. If they're behind, we'll be able to tell because we've, we've got it down when we quoted the property how long it should take us to do each task in there. So if the vehicle is still sitting there beyond time, we know we need to send a manager out and try to evaluate what the situation is. Uh, aside from that, it has uh, other benefits for us. Uh, we, we actually had an incident where we had a vehicle and several mowers stolen uh, from our area in Sarasota. And the vehicle and mowers and equipment, two cycle equipment, were taken down to uh, Miami-Dade area. Uh, when we realized the side of our building had been smashed in, we were able to contact the local uh, sheriff's office who contacted Miami-Dade PD and were able to recover our equipment because the vehicle on GPS was still sitting in the suspect's backyard with all our mowers on it. So that was an added bonus for us uh, from that standpoint. We've also utilized it in when we have you know complaints from a homeowner or that our vehicle might have been uh, engaged in a driving situation where you know someone called and complained we're able to actually go on look at our GPS see if the vehicle was even there you know in the situation in question and be able to tell which driver it was and if it's something we need to speak to them about